everyone! Welcome back to She Tried It. With Halloween in mind, in today's video, I wanted to share some of the things that absolutely terrify me about knit and crochet. I know for myself, a lot of things aren't really scary, but they're just new. And sometimes there's just a fear of the unknown. Also, don't start judging me if something scares me today, but you see me doing it in a video next week. These might be fears today, but God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. <laughs> but seriously, I hope to work through all these fears one day. And hopefully y'all can help me. For example, at the beginning of my crochet journey, I thought if I never had to read a crochet chart, I would be a happy camper. But now, after completing the Willow Lace Fest by Two of Wands, I hope patterns I buy have charts in them. I know I said this before in another video, but it still reigns true. Like Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Also, a quick disclaimer, most of my fears have to do with knit. I personally feel far more comfortable with more things in crochet. Anyways, let me tell you some of my fears. This may seem absolutely absurd to some people, and honestly, a lot of these things might be. But yes, cables are a fear of mine. While I'm sure crochet cables are probably a lot easier than knit cables, both of them look complex to me. I have no clue how crochet cables work, but I once watched a YouTube tutorial for knit cables, and the person pulled out something called a cable stitch holder. The thought of having to bring in another tool to something as complex as knitting made me stick to my stomach, and I couldn't finish the video. I think one day I'm gonna run into a pattern that's going to have the most beautiful cables that I can't pass up, and I'll force myself to learn. But until that day comes, I'm just gonna admire cable sweaters from afar. Technically, I've kind of already done this, but I don't want to do it again. If you watched the video for the Aboila tank, you know that I used Curio number no. 10 thread held double. Curio number no. 10 is a very thin thread, and I was holding the exact same yarn double. I made it through the pattern and I love the result, but I could never imagine crocheting something like a worsted weight yarn with a mohair yarn. While I'm certain the results would be stunning, I can't even imagine how much attention to detail it would take. If crocheting is that scary to me, you already know. I don't even want to think about knitting double. I really want to work through this fear quickly. Let me explain why. Like I said, I recently completed the Aboila take by MM Making, and I loved how it turned out. Once I posted it on Instagram and made the video, Michelle kindly asked if I would like a pattern of hers for free. I sent her my email and I told her that I really loved her brioche take, but the thought of doing brioche terrified me. She ended up sending me six of her patterns. I was and still am so grateful for that amazing gift. If y'all have checked out her patterns from my last video, you already know that I hit the mother load. In that bunch of patterns, I got the one color brioche tank and the hug yourself fisherman rib sweater. Both equally gorgeous, both equally terrifying. But since I have the pattern, I will be a fool not to get over this fear soon. I think what really scares me is that if I mess up on brioche or fisherman's rib, I have no idea how to fix that stitch. I really only know how to fix it if I'm knitting or purling, barely. scares me for a variety of reasons. Y'all may think I pick great colors for my makes, but a lot of times it's either a shot in the dark on my part, or it's a color chosen by my boyfriend where I have virtually no input. The thought of having to come up with multiple colors that work well together scares me quite a bit. I have a piece coming soon where I dip my toe into pairing some colors, but after completing the Sluke Super Scarf by Crafty Med, which by the way was a case where it was a complete shot in the dark, I haven't played too much with multiple colors in one piece. Other than matching colors, I fear just not knowing what mosaic and intarsia really entails. know I have now crocheted two shawls, but crochet is notorious for how easy it is to create a shape. I can't comprehend how you would knit a triangle. Maybe it's simple, but it sure doesn't seem like it is. I'm sure knit shawls have gorgeous drapes, but this fear of mine won't let me be great. I think before I hop straight into knitting a shawl, I should take baby steps. Again, I must explain. 
Yes, most if not every single one of the things I have ever knit has a portion of one by one ribbing to it. So it's not that I don't know how to do it. It's just that one, I do it very slowly, and two, if I mess up when I do it, I have no clue how to fix it. Every single time I get to the ribbing portion of a garment, I know it's gonna take forever. People complain about sleeve island, but I complain about ribbing island. I literally turn into a turtle when I start ribbing. Personally, I haven't been able to find a tutorial for how to fix a dropped rib stitch. If you know of any tutorial, please send it my way and I'll be forever grateful. Last but certainly not least is a milestone piece. While I currently don't think I would ever crochet my wedding dress, we can add that to the list as a fear. But it doesn't have to be anything as big as a wedding. It could be any event where I need to make my own garment. I just know that that pressure would freak me out. This is more of a mindset issue. If I made something and ended up wearing it somewhere special, I would be totally fine. I just couldn't make something knowing that it was for a milestone event. I already know I'm weird. Well, those are all my fears. Please let me know if we have any of the same fears or if I'm in this all by myself. If you have other fears, leave them in the comments below. There may be some things I'm scared of that I don't even know about yet. My hope is that one day I can look at a pattern and not make it, not because I'm scared or think I'm not capable, but just because I don't want to. We can do this guys. See you in my next video. Bye!